best podcast in Long Beach, California. This is Tacos and Workouts. What it is, what it is. Podcast. Look, it's, it's kind of crooked, but I'll, I'll fix it later. <laughs> All right. Hey, everybody. I'm right here with, with JR and the crew. And, yeah. and, and it's his event, dog. Here we go, dog. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another event of JR and the crew with Chicano Hollywood and Chicano Hollywood Music. Ka. That's right, dog. That's right. Hey, this, this event turned out lovely, dog. There's a, there's a lot of beautiful women, right? What? Yeah, a lot of them, dog. Wow, you better be careful. <laughs> and get everyone in trouble. And then they got good drinks. Yes. And yes. then they got music. And then they got you, dog. And then they got Profile Pod right here. <laughs> hey! And they got Reverie right here. Yeah, we got everybody, dog. So check it out, man. Look at I have to say, you are the best podcast in Long Beach. <laughs> it's official, Doug. It's official. <laughs> <laughs> hey, make sure you guys support, man, this man right here. He's doing his thing. Look at What it's about is supporting one another. That's all it's about. Get the poverty mentality out of your mind. There's room for everybody. So, hey, enjoy yourself. Make great content. And I'll see you out there. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right, here we are with another Chicano Hollywood artist. We could not go without mentioning her. She's one of the biggest uh, Chicano Hollywood artists right now. Tell them who you is, tell them who you is. Hey, what's up, it's Reverie, straight out of Northeast Los Angeles. We're here at the Chicano Hollywood music premiere, right? I'm excited. That's right. So, for all you don't know, now you know, Doc. Look, Chicano Hollywood is taking over, Doc. Look, they got comedians, they got music artists, right? We got the streaming service, Doc. And now we have the Chicano Hollywood music. All right. For all of you, for all the people out there who do not know, tell them what your music's about and what you do. So, my music, most of it is autobiographical. And if it's not, it's always inspired by real life events, people that I've met once in my life who have inspired me with their stories. And it's just really representative of the Chicano LA culture, honestly. I love writing, I've been writing poems since I was a kid, and now I've been to 23 countries and most of the states on tour. And I have changed my life around. I used to be a lost little kid, and now I'm doing pretty good. Wow, but what got you started on being a, 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 a musician? You know, my poetry was always an outlet. It was a way to relieve stress and to get things off of my mind. I'm not really a person that's so good at like telling people how I feel, but when I'm talking to an instrumental, nothing's off limits, you know, and that always gave me a freedom and it always relieved my stress and my pain. So that's how it kind of started as an outlet. And honestly, today it's still very much an outlet for me. Well, listen, man, I want to thank you for the time that you gave me today. But before we leave, Tell them where they can find you and all that good stuff. Yeah, so my handle is at Reverie Love everywhere. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, OnlyFans, Twitter, um, Snapchat. What am I missing? SoundCloud. You can find my music everywhere you listen to music. Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, all that. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time. All right. <laughs>
All right, hey, I'm gonna interview you real quick. I just had, sorry, I had to put on my makeup. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Uh, all right, tell them who you is, tell them who you is. I am Amora J, and we are at an awesome event right now, Chicago Hollywood event, and I'm so excited to be here with you. Little haters. <laughs> yes, yes. And what was your question? <laughs> yeah, so look, I, I saw that you were doing a, a, some cover songs, right? But do you sing any of your own, like, musics? Yeah, so I have a few singles out. We're actually working on an album right now for myself, so I'm pretty excited about that with some originals, some covers. So I do a little bit of both, originals and covers. I, I like it when people do the covers because it's like a familiar song, but it also shows like your vocal talents and you displayed that here tonight. Yes, thank you, thank you. No, it was like so much fun. The crowd's amazing. Everyone's vibing. Everyone's having a good time. So I'm having a good time when people are having a good time. That's right. And I'm drinking way too many Coronas, Doc. <laughs> I wish I could too right now. But, you know, it like dehydrates my voice. So I'm like, oh, I can't. But I, maybe now I can because I just got done singing. So Maybe one or two. One, one, one. <laughs> One or, one or two never hurt nobody. One or two, one or two, yeah. So what's, what's the name of your albums when it comes out? Um, we don't have a name yet because we're still in the process of um, just like making more music and stuff like that, adding more songs. But it's definitely going to be an, a, a love album, so it's going to have to do something with love. So I'm excited. It sounds lovely. All right. All right, guys, do me a huge favor. Um, before we let her go, because she's a very busy lady, you know, Tell them like where they could find you and where they could follow you. Look, check it out. As a matter of fact, follow her on Instagram, follow her on TikTok. Just don't follow her home. <laughs> yeah, so you can follow me on all social media platforms under Amora J Official, which is A M O R A A J Official. And if you want to see like new events and shows and stuff like that, you can follow me under Trejo's Music, which is the label that I'm signed under. So, yeah. All right, thank you. Thank you. This was a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Doug. I'm right here with this, this Chicano Hollywood music artist. Tell us who you are. My name is Mia May, M-I-A-M-E-I. -E I'm 16 years old. Um, I'm an up-and-coming Chicana artist, and I work with Baby Bash. Baby Bash? And you're 16? Wow. Yeah, so it all started, I was on a live one day during COVID, and I just sang an original song for him, and he was like, hey, I really like that. So ever since, I was 14 at the time, ever since we've just been co-writing together, and he executive produces my music. So what, what, you, what got you started on this journey, to doing music? Um, ever since I was little, it's just always been natural, and it came organic to me. Um, and it's just something I've always wanted to do. Like somebody asked me, what do you want to do? I always say, I want to sing, not knowing what it meant. It was just always so pure. I would do theater and talent shows. And then at 14, it became serious. Wow, look at her. Look, so young and so talented. All right, before we let you go, tell us, tell us what they could expect when they listen to your music. Okay, so it's really fresh. It's really clean. Um, I would describe it as maybe some R&B, some hip hop, some 90s some west coast i really love west coast but honestly anything i love all genres of music i just hope it makes you feel good and i like to make good music lastly tell them where to find news wait say that again tell them where to find news oh where to find me okay so y'all can find me at official mia may official m-i-a-m-e-i -E i'm pretty sure yeah all right thank you very much <laughs> Yeah, come on, Doug. You never seen me before? <laughs> All right. I'm here with another Chicano Hollywood artist. She's going to introduce herself. Tell them who you is. Tell them who you is. Yo quiero sila. <laughs> what, what that word mean, Doug? 
Yo quiero, como yo quiero Taco Bell, silla como un silla, siéntete cabrón y escúchame, por favor. Uh, yeah, I want Taco Bells all the time, dog. <laughs> hey, hey, t tell, tell them what kind of music you do. I do Mexican pop and EDM, so house. I'm a Vegas DJ and a producer and Latin pop artist. Wow, look at her. She's a DJ. <laughs> hey, how'd you get started in all this in all this music stuff, dog? Um, since I was in my mama's womb. It's, I've been born with it, so. It, you're, you're like me. Like, I started comedy as soon as I came out as well. I said, hey, give me that titty. Yeah, tú sabes. So, uh, what can people expect when they follow you? When they follow me, expect baddie vibes, like badass, confident, strong, you know, strong feminine power of like, you know, exploring your talent, being authentically yourself, no matter what, um, hella creativity, um, super funny, and right now, kind of a sad girl. Hey, I, 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 I ain't gonna lie, I'm digging that hat, dog. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's nice and furry, dog. All right, <laughs> how, how far do you want to take it? How sparse? How far do you want to take it? Like you're 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 talented in your music careers. I want to take it above and beyond. I asked the aliens earlier if they can help me take me to the next level. So I'm going universal. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, do me a, do me a huge favor. Tell them where to find you. Tell them where you're at. You can find me on all social media at Yo Quiero Silla S I L L A with an S because I like it. So Yo Quiero Silla. There you go, Doc. <laughs> thank you for, for giving us a little bit of time, and thank you for coming out on the best podcast in Long Beach, California, Tacos and Workouts. <laughs> thank you. Yeah.